Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a blackened chicken Alfredo bake. We're gonna do a lot of it on the griddle and finish it off in the oven for a fantastic comfort food. You guys stay tuned. All right, let's do a quick rundown of the ingredients. Got some chicken out. Got a big bad boy right here, so we're gonna uh, flatten that out really good to show you guys what we're doing. Um, here's some that's already been done. We're gonna blacken that today with a little bit of this. It's kind of like a, it's good, I like it. it. Gets the job done. Here's the, the kicker. Got some uh, tortellini, it's got the five cheese blend. We're gonna make a casserole style. So we're gonna boil that, finish it off on the griddle to toast it up a little bit. When we make an Alfredo sauce, we got the heavy cream, some butter, Parmesan cheese, a little garlic. Make kind of like a cheese sauce, toss that tortellini in there with a uh, blackened chicken. Then we're gonna melt some butter, uh, do some little panko, put that over top for a little crunch factor put it in the oven and it should be absolutely fantastic. This is my cheat day, comfort food 107. All right. One oh. <laughs> All right, you ready? I know, I, it's Friday, I can't believe we're not having Domino's. We're, we're having this instead. <laughs> All right. I know that makes you excited. It does, it absolutely does. Just for the chicken, just to make sure it's even. Whatever you want to use. There we go, looking good. See that, just use a, just use the uh, Ziploc bag and you're good to go. We're just gonna season it lightly on both sides. So I use that Zatarain's on one side, I got this Creole on the other side. Just a little pop of flavor. All right, we have a nice skillet going, our, our Blackstone's warming up nicely. To that, we're just gonna add a stick of butter, three cloves of garlic chopped, sliced, and finally diced. Right in that stick of butter. And then this butter right here, you're just gonna make sure it melts, kind of makes that garlic fragrant. All right, we just dumped a cup of uh, that panko into a bowl, and then I'm gonna put in about probably three to four tablespoons of that melted butter and garlic. Toss that together really well. And that's gonna be our crumb topping to go on top of the, the uh, Parmesan bake. Maybe just a little parsley for color. One pint of heavy cream. One cup of half and half. And then we're just gonna grate this whole block of Parmigiano Reggiano right into the sauce. All right, that rind, we're just gonna throw in there for flavor. We can take it out a little bit later. Now you're just gonna stir it and incorporate all the ingredients. All right, now that we got everything combined, you guys can find this recipe at theflattopking.com. If I change anything from here, it'll be listed on our updated uh, website for the, um, for the recipe that you guys can follow. All right, so now we got that done. You wanna be careful before you add your salt and pepper because you don't know how salty each cheese is gonna be, so you wanna salt afterwards. I just want to show you guys, see how consistency we're looking at? I know it seems thin, but see how it's starting to coat the back of the spatula? That's what you're looking for. First, it's going to... Let me taste. I mean, that is just uh, Parmesan you gold. You put it on your finger. You want to lick my finger? <laughs> yes, oh. it looks hot. We need a mm. TV timeout. Mm. All right, on that hot griddle, plenty of oil. All right, I always try to teach you something in the video, no matter what it is. <clears throat> One way to keep your griddles and your skillets on the same page, what do I mean? One way to keep your skillets from overheating, it's almost like the elevated system, right? We got a little heat down here on the bottom, but you can see I've just moved it on the surface right here. You need to be very careful walking back and forth on your griddle so you don't knock your handle off but it keeps it just warm enough. If you keep it like this, your sauce is gonna start boiling. And when it does, you're worried about it breaking. You don't want it to boil too much. Um, and this goes with anything. So just keep it right off the edge just a little bit. My temperature stayed the same, so that way I'm allowed to keep the, the heat for the chicken so it can block it. I just got a knob of butter. We just wanna go all the way around the cast iron, all the way around it. 
tops, bottoms. It's just a good way to protect your uh, your skillet, especially that cheese sauce when you bake it. Plus, obviously, it adds flavor. The oven, the uh, the oven set on um, 375. Try to hit a new landing zone when you flip it. All right, when you're tipping your chicken, you need to cook it to the temperature you want. We're not gonna argue about that, but it is important to have yourself a thermometer because as you can tell, each piece of chicken is gonna be done at a different time because of size and the placement on the griddle. You definitely don't wanna go ahead and cut your chicken now, you gotta let it rest. So while it's resting, would be a good time to do your pasta. One thing about pasta, you have to understand, you the pasta needs to be your main focus. So when it's ready, you need to be ready, not the other way around. So let that do its thing. All right, my griddle is completely off. I'm just gonna lightly put them on the griddle for a minute, help draw them out, and maybe luck out and get a couple of toasted notes. All right, you need to resist the urge to add oils or butter while you're doing this. The whole point is to dry the pasta out, okay? Big difference. You want that Alfredo sauce you made to adhere to that pasta, okay? I'm just gonna add a little bit right now, not a lot. So that way that pasta can start absorbing that Alfredo sauce. Just leave that off to the side. Good time to cut our chicken. Boy, that Alfredo smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. The creaminess. You know, they always tell you that when you uh, have something spicy, that you should drink some milk or eat ice cream or something like that because the fat helps offset the spiciness in your mouth, the way it coats it. This is a perfect example. You got that spicy blackened seasoning. But yet you got that Alfredo sauce with all that cream in it. Just a nice balance. And people always ask, how do you do juicy chicken on the griddle? Flatten your chicken out and don't cook each piece the same time on the griddle. You need to pull them when they're done. Each piece is gonna be able to cook at a different rate, at a different temp. So just be aware of that. Mm. Got a handful of that Parmesan cheese left over. All right, I'm gonna save just a little bit to pour on top. So let's say about 75% of the, the liquid you got left. Ooh, that is a sound you wanna hear. Mm. All right. Just like that. That leftover gonna be for dipping our breadsticks oh, in. Oh, you know it. I don't know if you, uh, <laughs> don't even get them started on that. <laughs> Got that garlic, parsley. Obviously this is optional. We just love the crunch factor. Just changes the texture up a li little bit. I'm not trying to overdo it. Like I said, in the oven for 375 until this bad boy is bubbly golden brown and delicious well when it's in the oven you cook it to what you like remember everything is already cooked got a little crispies on the edge the parmesan cheese is setting up nicely on the edge of the cast iron you can definitely put this on a pellet smoker or a charcoal grill if you want to just keep everything outside oh my gosh 
smells fantastic. Creaminess. Look at all it. Look at that on the outside where it toasted the tortellini with that butter. Golly. Cast iron comes out clean. Look how clean that cast iron comes out. And you know I had to do a little something, something. Where's that leftover Alfredo sauce? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Super hot. Yeah, you should heed my own words. Let it cool. It's one of those, it's like a pizza. You just cannot wait long enough. <laughs> You speak the words without me speaking. You know all this <laughs> is a dang home run. This is absolutely fantastic. Friday cheat night, little garlic bread, blackened chicken, tortellini alfredo, absolutely money. Little crunchy on the dang. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> wow. Yep. Mm. yep. That'll, that'll do it any dinner service right there. Mm. That is fantastic. Golly. That, <laughs> boy, this is sinful. All right, guys, there you go. This, 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 uh, this might be better than Domino's Friday. It better be better than Domino's on Friday. <laughs> it better not be better than Domino's on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> the girls like their Domino's. <laughs> Just something different, and that's what griddle cooking is all about, taking... Mm. Normal things that you wouldn't normally think of. Enjoying the outdoors, having a blast. The kids already chowing down on the dang garlic bread. That's what they like to do. Yeah. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on the Griddle Group on Facebook. We talk about griddles where we come up with ideas like this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Quick shout out to the cast iron community. I think I've abandoned you guys. Mm. Mm. Mm.